The Sapinua field, originally called Guara, was discovered on July 13, 2008, and is part of the Santos Basin pre-salt cluster. The field is located about 310 kilometers from the coast of Brazil and 55 kilometers southeast of the Lula field at a water depth of 2,140 meters. The area is being developed in partnership. Petrobras is the leader and operator of the consortium with a 45% share. The other partners are BGENP Brasil with 30% and Hepsol Sinopec Brasil with 25% of the project. With estimated recoverable volumes of 2.1 billion barrels of oil equivalent, the Sapinua field is one of the largest in the country. The light crude from these reserves has a grade of 30 degrees API. Production began in the first quarter of 2013 with a pilot project consisting of the installation of the FPSO Cidade de São Paulo. Development of production from the northern region of Sapinua Field began in November of 2014. The production platform for this field is the FPSO Cidade de Ilabela, a leased facility converted from an oil tanker. The project development plan consists of 14 wells, including eight production wells and six injection wells. The injection wells include four for water and two for gas, which will be prepared for water alternating gas injection. The risers are of high strength carbon steel with a nickel alloy coating on the inside diameter that offers resistance to corrosion. This technology was applied due to the high levels of carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide present in the fluids, which are corrosive. The risers and gas injection lines are SLWRs, steel lazy wave risers, which have a hump and sag configuration and use flotation modules mid-water for support. The choice of SLWRs in the ultra-deep water Sapinua North Field included several innovations including the first ever installation directly from an FPSO and the greatest water depth ever achieved for the installation of this type of riser system. The gas export system uses freestanding hybrid riser, FSHR technology, a concept which has already been utilized in ultra deep water in the Roncador field. This is the first time this concept will be applied in the pre-salt. The FPSO Cidade de Ilabela was converted in China from the hull of an oil tanker. The integration of the modules was executed in Brazil. Additionally, 14 modules of the FPSO's processing plant were manufactured in Brazil. Two remaining modules were manufactured in Singapore. The FPSO Cidade de Ilabela has capacity for processing 150,000 barrels per day of oil, treatment and compression of 6 million cubic meters of gas per day, and the injection of 180,000 barrels of water per day. It has a large size oil and gas processing plant weighing approximately 24,000 tons, which is equipped with carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide removal systems. These contaminants can reach levels of 60% and 60 parts per million of the produced gas, respectively. Additionally, it has a gas reinjection capacity of approximately 3 million normal cubic meters per day. The produced oil is offloaded from the platform by dynamically positioned tankers. The destination of these vessels depends on the strategy of each participant in the BMS09 consortium, each of whom is responsible for their own solutions. The gas produced will be exported via a 15.5 kilometer 18 inch pipeline which will be connected by a pipeline end manifold to the Sapinua Lula gas export line integrating the pre-salt gas export grid. The FPSO Cidade de Ilabela began operating in 2014 with 65% of its content sourced locally. Its construction was responsible for creating approximately 3,500 direct jobs in Brazil, contributing to the development of the country. With integrated management, technology, best practices for operations, and the preservation of human and environmental safety, we are prepared to overcome new challenges and ensure energy security in a continuously expanding and ever more demanding marketplace. <music>